I'm gonna try something. I don't have a lot of confidence getting into it. Maybe better keep these on. But we haven't done a new spike knife in a long time. There's several different ones you guys have been asking for. A lion's head is something I've been wanting to do. So we're gonna give it a go. Um, it's just, mm, it's just kind of in my brain. I can't figure out exactly where and how I want everything to go. But what my first approach is going to be is, I mean, obviously, hey, there's the main. It's all ready to go. If we just had a freaking snout on the end of this, we'd be in good shape. And that's kind of the direction that I'm going. If I could put a snout on the end of it, um, I might be able to, uh, to, to bring everything in. So what I've decided to do, and I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to heat this sucker up. Hopefully, you know, not too much. I don't want to upset it. I'll end up with a, with a beautiful lion's head on a two-inch knife. This is really butt heavy but uh, I'm gonna take my this little swedge tool and uh, or mortise tendon forming thing monkey is a monkey I don't know. I'm tired I'm so tired today I don't understand it anyway I'm gonna see if I can drop the nose through there and push this back all right am I trying to upset the whole thing I'm trying to push this outer what would be the main I hope eventually uh, push that back and if we if I can do that then I might be able to form that snout and then pull this main around and make it look right I think one thing I do want to do though is because I want you know to take this mass and push it through here is I'm gonna try to um, like I normally would drop the nose down on the um, on the ram's head I'll drop this nose down a little bit and then we'll see if we can push something through so there we go we're gonna try a lion's head today yeah I'm gonna feed it out here to try to drop that's it oh, yeah. so I'm gonna quench this top so I don't deform it too much and again, just like I would with the snout on a ram's head, I'm just going to try to drop, move that. Move that center mass back. Yeah, I think that's good. So if you see here, I moved it back. I don't know, this, oh, you know what, I didn't shape it like I normally do. That's why I didn't act. I wonder why I didn't move the way I normally do did but we're okay so now the key is can I go ahead and start trying to drive that son of a pup down in there I don't know it seems it seems too good to be true but we're gonna give it a go see what happens I'm trying to I'm not trying to upset too much of it so I don't want to lose a lot of length in here I'm half tempted to try to quench that top part just to get rid of some of that heat Put my ice in the bottom of the bucket. Alright, so just to try to isolate that heat a little bit. Oh, I guess I'm gonna need something to hold on to this son of a bitch, right? We're just gonna see what we can do. Alright. I want a little main on the top and bottom. Let's see if we get any movement at all. We better tongue for that. See, I can't see in the shop today. Something goofy going on. Let's just see if we can get something started. I don't know. <laughs> it don't look like much. But we'll give her another go. Give her another go until we figure out what it is we're really going to end up doing here. If we can just, I don't want that to roll, but I don't know if that would hurt if it did. We're going to see what we can do. Let's see if we can get anything to move. This goddamn knee knocker, I tell you. I don't know why this hammer and I can't agree with where we want to hit, but I'll tell you. Son of a bitch. Alright, well it's doing something that I'm not exactly centered, so we should keep that into account. And it certainly would help if this plate was be warm not moving around huh um but anyway keep going on move that 
All right, we're gonna try a different approach. Rather than trying to go through a square hole, let's just see if we can drop one side down and then maybe rotate and drop the other side down. Maybe that'll help, help in the movement department. Now, we're okay in this direction. bad we got something out of it you see that and then what we can do is we can come back here hopefully where it's centered we're gonna be a, a little bit better work there and I'd say that gave us a lot better results than what we were doing before and we've sent it up pretty good so let's keep going in that direction exactly happy with the deformation I'm getting in the spike itself but getting a protrusion out of there though. Yeah, I can't see it. Right. Not enough I think to make a lion's head but the right direction. I'm going to come back and try to clean that spike up now a little. Get things back in alignment and then get it again. If it works at all, I'll be impressed. We'll come back to the anvil for a minute. Challenge right there. I'm trying to get things lined up. I hope I didn't let him get too far out of hand. I really don't want to hit that head. You know what the main part at all? M A N E. I want as much of that out there as I can. Just kind of bring this. Neck back down a little. Get it straightened back up so we can do a little more driving with it. I didn't, I don't know. It wasn't awful. It wasn't great though either. See, one thing I'm a little worried about is we, is we upset. Come on, we're getting the scene. First day with the camera chin, we got a little bit of a roll going in there. And we gotta make sure that that doesn't ever become a critical, critical thing. But I think you can see it. Alright. Maybe like that, I don't know yet. I don't understand why, there it is. Jeez, freaking wheeze, sorry. You can see it. Do you think I can see it? Put it back in the fire. Um, that roll right there I don't like it the fact that the uh, the protrusion is offset from the center I mean artistically I don't mind it being there when we're all done but just from a force standpoint I don't think I can get you know it's just gonna continue to kink here so I think I'm gonna try to slide that over again like I did at the beginning I think a little scary but I'm gonna try it take that approach I'm gonna try something else if we're hot enough I'm gonna see if I can take that flatter And see if I can just mash it down that way a little bit. See, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't have a freaking edge. Uh, I don't have a hold down. See if I can smash it down. I don't think this is going to work. No, I just ain't got nothing. I really wish I could get. That held, and I mashed this back down. But I don't think I can do it. All right, let's go back to the original plan. I had somebody hold it, maybe. We'll see. Let's get her out again. Damn, Sam. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when you don't know what to do?
if we can get something out of it. And as much as I hate to distort that main, I'm going to just bring this in just a little bit. Hopefully we can come up with a way to flatten that baby back out. And I'm going to, like I did before, cool off the top part of this. Let's just see if we can drive that sucker down. Man, it's looking pretty damn ugly to me. Everything's getting a little out of hand here, but we're we're a little closer anyway. We moved it a little. I don't know if I want to try anymore. Again, I'm trying to get that protrusion more in line. I don't understand why I can't run a freaking camera today. We're more in line with uh, that shaft. So let's see what happens now. We can get another bit of movement on this thing. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope anyway. And it's not acting horribly at the moment. Looking good, isn't it? Dang. Gosh. A little bit more, I think, would be would be enough. Let's go one more time and then we'll see if we can do something with what we got there. Sometimes it's amazing. It's just amazing how much you can do with something little. Huh? Get one more shot. I'm interested with a pretty damn cool. Let's go. Let's play with it. Let's go this way with it. that uh, if there, there's less here if I flip the head this way yeah that might work doesn't matter which way I have it I don't think all right I'm kind of liking that I'm not liking this part though so we got to figure out how to kind of do something to clean that up get her back where we want her to be do some gentle persuasion here I'm not gonna move anything quickly I don't think but if we can get semi back to where I want them. Yeah, I'm gonna take a few tries just to get things get things moving. If we can do that, we're gonna be in pretty good shape. If I were to stick this sucker down through here. This fit over this sucker right now? Will. It's gonna be a, kind of a knuckle buster. I'm sure you had something around this sucker. Let me just take this and see if we can just kind of get things where it belongs. and see how we're trying to flatten that main out a little. I'm kind of liking how, what happened there. Get that main either flat or at least just out of the way so that I can come back and start trying to get this crap in here cleaned up. And now we're off side and all sorts of crazy things. I think it's amazing we were able to true that piece as it was. Just got to figure out how to get the thing centered now. Find my pieces of my guillotine machine here. 
thinking that might help a little. But while we got a heat. Let's see if we can start moving some of this stuff. And again, I want to move. I want to move this stuff down if I can. Gentle and slow. Gentle and slow. We still got a lot of movement to do, but I don't know if I want my door to machine now. I'm wondering if I bring that up to temp and just quench that main, if I might be able to move it a little that way. Give me something to hammer on because we need to come down this way, down this way, not doing a whole lot of moving is it, sons of bitches, oh, yeah, if I move it this way I'm okay, we gotta just move that sucker down that way. There's something I could have done better or not. Let me see if I can find those pieces. What I like to do is only move part of this. If I could cool this side, I don't know, it seems hokey. If I could cool that side down so it doesn't want to move as much, I might be able to pull something off here with these. Oh, except we don't fit anymore. Are you going to let me turn? No, you little pepperhead. My burrs are in the way. I'm losing my freaking heat. Damn it, the flipping hell. Well, let's get it so we're going to be happy next time, all right? Now we fit. All right, let's go back. So, again, I'm going to want a cool... That's uh keep the crap out of this. Still I mean, you know, I'm still not even to the point where I'm worried about the uh, the actual details of that lion's head. I'm just trying to get the main and that protrusion that I hope is the nose uh, kind of centered on that on that uh, shaft there and then around the square and then try to get that upsetting that I put in out so I don't lose too much of money. Scary. Try this sucker again. I actually think I want you in this way. Hammers, 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 over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, back. Let's do something. I just fell out of there. Let me lose my bottom plate. Think I did. Lost that side plate, bottom plate. God, see how it's... It's over here, I want it over there. Sons of bitches. Come on now, we can figure it out, Jim. I think I just destroyed my... It was a hokey build anyway. I think we might have developed enough where we can go ahead and do a, a decent guillotine machine. We'll do a needed tool, make a tool. 
I'll be back. Persuade it where we want it to be. We gotta cool this side down. And I just wanna get right down there. Come on, give me something here. Closer anyway. Hopefully, we can draw that main back out when we need it. Damn. So we're much closer to alignment there. And this axis, anyway, wasn't where I was going, but that might be all we get out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That little bugaboo didn't happen. It wouldn't be too bad of a project at this point. You know, we dropped the nose out a little bit. Like, all this goofing on I'm doing now, I'm not happy about it, but. Let's see, we blew this corner off again. Let's see if we can get the sun on this to drop. We don't certainly don't want that goddamn lion's head not centered on the on the handle. Ah, da, 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 da. What are we gonna do? Right. Maybe clean this up a little. Come on, Charlie. Oh, you dirty little. <laughs> I tried so hard to get it right, but I didn't. Hydraulic press would be good right now, wouldn't it, Chairman? Then maybe we can start doing this to get the game again. Maybe we can do this game again and put a hand on this side. I had a good way to pound on that sound again. Oh, that's right, I was using this thing before. Let me see how this works. I know I'm cold now. It works. That works. Bum, 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 bum. Again, all of this is bull crap. Because if I hadn't. hadn't uh, gone crooked on me. Question is, if you were to ever try to make another one, Chandler, could you do it in a way where it didn't go crooked on you? That would be the question. I'm not totally disappointed in that at the moment. I'm going to heat her up and try that a few more times. I just want to get to the point where I'm pulling that main and that nose out to see if this is even going to work. And let's go this direction this time. Squeeze while we can. Uh, back to this little doohickey, this little doohickey. See if we can get some action now. Some action now on that sucker. All right, what'd that do for us? Yeah, it's cleaning up. It's cleaning up, and again, if I can find one orientation that I'm not horribly upset about, I'm taking it. That one don't look too bad right there, actually. That's, 
Not too bad. I would love for this flare here to be narrowed up. Maybe I can do that with a hammer now. I might have enough meat. Let's try it. I'm just going to cool that main down just a little bit in case I hit it with a hammer. I don't need that getting deformed any more than it has to. I'm just trying to bring this spike back down to spike geometry. Because every bit I get out of here, there's a little more handle I can throw on this thing. Let me get to the point that we think we can do a handle. So I have set all the way back here too. I'm not hating it right at the moment, guys. All right. We're in line enough in this direction. Actually, let's go in this direction. I think we're aligning up. No, look at that. No, we're not. That's close. That's close. Whatever it is, it's not that. So let's go. Hope this isn't a total failure when we get done. All right, let's see what we can do about turning that into a line, all right? Now I did scrunch a lot of steel up on this side, so I'd like to try to bring that out if I can. And uh, we'll see what we end up with here. That's it, where I plan on working, you might enjoy the scene more. So again, this is my, what I kill This is my skinny side over here. So let's just take, a little bit of time here and just see if we can bring that out a little. Bit. Just like that. It's not horrible. I'm not hating it yet. Got a whole, whole lot of nose to work with when we get down there, but we're still pretty thick here. And again, my alignment. Ooh, my. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go back to. I almost wish I could slide this sucker through it if I had another one of those, but I guess we'll have to work off of this. Right, let's see what we can do about squishing this down a little bit more. Let's see, what constructive direction should we go first? Let's try here. All right. Go back to this technique. Seems to work all right. Seems to work all right. And then we'll see about rotating this. Just for a little while here. Get her started. Turn it. Turn it. Keep that all loose. Try it. Alright. Like I said, I ain't hating it yet. Yet. What do you guys think? Alright. Is that going to be enough to get some type of lion head out of it? I think it will be. I think, I think, I think it will be. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and just draw the back of that mane out a little. Let's see if we can use a three pounder and be able to get at something here. Busting our knuckles too much. Just trying to clean up this back side if we can. A little too big. And just kind of get a little bit more shape going on this thing. A little more shape. 
I don't mind if there's a little more on one side than the other. Truly are. Tying in the arse. This will go back to over here is where we gotta do it. We're almost to the point where I'm ready to see what I can do. Get some sh uh, outer shape on that main. And then see what we can do about making that face do something realistic. A lot of meat under this corner, but not a lot of not a lot of uh, main there. So we can get her drawn out a little bit. Same thing over here. Get a strategy going for face. Everything is moving. Let's see what we can do about just cleaning up some of those color marks. And I didn't even like that texture is horrible because we gotta have hair there eventually. gonna be crazy horrible. Oh gosh. Looks like a giant nipple at the moment. I don't hate it because I got a nipple lying. Alright. Now for some strategy strategy we got to make a final call on alignment here final call on which is which is up and which is down Whew. trying to look at it straight on I'm trying to look at it like that and which one that's offset that's offset that's offset this is about the they're all freaking offset. Oh, right about there, which I could... Wait a minute, maybe we should take this at an angle, Jim. Can we do that? Can we find a nice centered angle. Yeah, I'm down with that. All right, so we're gonna actually call center on this angle. And then what we gotta do now is take this protrusion Bring back the, the eyebrow, you know, the, the brow rather, and bring out the mouth a little. I mean, I haven't the foggiest clue what I'm going to do there, but we need to kind of like this, get a little bit more distinction on the mouth. Guess what the heck are you going to do? Do, 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 do. I'm going to go this way with it. We're going to just try to draw that out a little bit. Be 
surprised how much we can get. I already see that majestic crown of the brow coming across. Look at it. I give you the right angle. I can't even see what you can see for Christ's sake. There it is. Right? And then just a little bit more of a snout, and it's going to be what we're after, I'm telling you. It's pretty dang close right there. Getting pretty darn close right there. With this brow, it want, we want it to be wider than the jaw. So I'm hoping because of that we can pick up some... Pick up some length in that nose. I don't know the best way to do this. Other than keep hammering, Chandler. Keep hammering, Chandler. I'll tell you, if I was trying to make a nipple, I would be the king. Nipple knife? Try to pinch a bit of this brow. Maybe if I get a step in there, I can. Uh, I'm gonna step in there. I'm gonna be able to pull a little bit more detail into the nose. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I don't know if you can see it, but. Just that step that's right there. That gives me something that I can lean on the anvil. Hopefully, God, I don't know, boys. I don't know what the heck I'm trying to do. But I think I'm gonna try to squeeze a bit more of that brow. I don't know why, but something tells me to do it. So we're gonna do it. Not hating it. And then we can come back here and uh, pull that out in a couple of different directions. You see anything lionish yet? If you did, it'd be somewhere in that range. Let's see if we can keep going. I'm not hating it yet, but I'm not overly excited. It doesn't need a huge job. I can't stand these when I just can't control my anger. Like, of course, maybe it's not me. Maybe it's just it's working right now. I, I can bring that back. I'm a little scared, I'm a little scared, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna pinch her again, give her one more put, one more pull. Uh, just pinch her at a bit of an angle this time. Although, no, just do the same pinch. Do the same pinch. We're getting there, we're getting there. gotta be getting somewhere here pretty soon. So there's my brow pinch. figure out now some wine face and of course this is at, supposed to be at an angle right which angle did we decide that's supposed to be the top this pinch at a bit of an angle or not I guess we can work at an angle 
All right. and that mouth kind of figured out. So we're going to have to get these eyes figured out. We want a distinctive growling brow to come out of this somehow. Just like that. Holy crap. Actually, start to see it happen here. See it? I'm starting to see something. Very interesting. Now we gotta somehow get this nose. Too bad at all. And what we need to do is get your chisels ready before your heat's gone, Cameron. Oh. We got one flat chisel left over there, and she'll do. Right, then we, get, we need to come in here and we need to get that nose defined, I bet you. I try to keep my hands as much out of the way as I can, but I have no guarantees for you on that regard. Because getting this thing right is my, is my priority. So if we come in here, how did I lose it? I just fucking had it. And we got to just distinguish that snarling little nose in there. There you go. Bring that up a little more. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I don't want it to be cartoonish, but at the same time, get these brows in a little. Since we got just the right heat to do that. Get up now, Chandler. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not totally hate. Just don't like the center part here. Hmm. For Christ's sake. Can and everything, right? Everything I'm freaking touching today is going freaking south. It's just crazy. It doesn't need to do that to me. What do you think? Oh, I almost shot that. You see it? All right. It's a little crooked there. I'll see if I can fix that. Again, see if I can do something. So, I don't like how that mouth is. Maybe 
maybe I can just pull this back out a little bit. Damn it, I don't like that. That sucks. getting worse and worse here. That's what you get, I guess. Trying to make something that looks like something that you don't know how to make. I probably couldn't draw a line, so how the hell... Come on, get over here. How am I supposed to make one? <laughs> What's bothering me, if you can see, I've zoomed you in now, it's too close. Is on the bottom of the mouth, we got this little curve up, or, which is actually down, which, you know what, maybe it doesn't look so bad. Strategically, we can un mess up this scenario we got going here. Then I this. So these gels, I bet you I can just. I still gotta fix this one nostril though. I don't know what the story is. It wasn't that bad to begin with. Maybe that's not cool. Go ahead and do a mouth. Do about a mouth here. Let me see, see how many times can you make the same mistake. Right? Unfortunately, that nose is a little bigger than we wanted it to be. But yeah, I'm not gonna like this at all. to you what I don't like. It's like. I think it's a scale issue, so... You see the head. The mouth I'm not hating. There's a little bit of a, a V there. I can't see it. anything. I'm fucking blind. Alright, the bottom of the mouth. Actually, gosh, that doesn't look too bad right there, does it? That nose is just a little too big, you know? I came up too high with it. I'm gonna see if I can, it almost looks like it's growling. Let's see if I can hide those marks up there that are that high. I about lost my freaking fire eye there. I'm gonna turn something in there, I don't care which way. If I can kind of soften that nose a little. for the nose a little less a little more subtle maybe if I just come in now and just do it short 
Yeah, just enough to give it some. Oh yeah, that, I think that's okay. I think I can live with that. Hard to tell until you get it all cleaned up. But I'm actually not hating it. I'm not totally annoying. Ugh. All right, my fire's just put out. I'm gonna go ahead and get that rebuilt, and then we need to we need to start making this main look real. All right, while that was while the fire was getting going again, I made a little bit of a scoop chisel. I'm hoping I can scoop a couple of ears off the top of that that lion's head. So let me get a heater back up. So I don't think we really need to to uh, lift the air, ears entirely. But definitely, we need a, a defined scoop of that ear. Just like that. Wow, that looks great. Boy, if we could pull out the same thing on the other side, I would be happy. I think that did exactly more than I thought it would do. Very, very interesting. You see it? I can't see. Why am I blind today? You luck so I can pull this second ear out much as I like the first one. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Yeah, so everything we go, let's start on this side. Why can't I see today? Can I not see a freaking thing? Well, I don't like it as much. But it ain't horrible. Okay. Alright, now we got crazy main work to do. I almost want to remove some from over here. But that almost feels like cheating, but I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just kind of even that up a little bit on the grinder. I'll show you what I mean. I consider it cheating, but being the first attempt at this. Yeah, man, one of those freaking days. One of those days, you know? When you just know. Everything's going to be freaked up. Anyway, so can you see the head in there now? Yeah, I think you can. Very, very cool. But this side, there's just too much meat over here on this side. So I think I'm just going to take a little bit of that off. And then we'll come back and see what we can do to turn that mane into something. Cheating a little bit, but I'm, I, I'm not too horribly worried about it. I'm worried about getting this head lined up in the with the knife when I get done, but we'll see what happens. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little bit of detail texture on the outside. I'd like to bring in a, a, like a little couple of dips around the ears in the front, and maybe a split or something underneath, just to try to get it more mane-like. I mean, it's pretty close now if I put hair on it. Get some, let's get some mainage going up in here. I just want texture around the outside of this mane like crazy. So we'll start with a small cusp. pattern I think is probably the most important part. Just lift this up so I'm not hitting my... We'll come around again with this one. So 
what I'm doing here. I haven't shaped the hair yet. So if you imagine, you just went to the beauty salon and you're a. I'm gonna heat that up some more. And you're a lion. Your hair is gonna get washed and it's all gonna be in one dimension. And then you're gonna style it. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm hoping in that process, the lines will get curved. The lines that I'm putting in now will get waved and curved. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I'd be hoping. A bit more. Just. Again, I'm trying to get the thing to the fridges right now. trying to give it the frizzies right now. job of rolling that mane into a little bit of a shape right now so some of it you can see from the back some of it's getting rolled there's getting some shape put into it already hard to see on camera but let's I think I got enough see, light on texture right in here I'm gonna go back one more time that was short right I like to brush when I'm putting details in because it makes it hard to see. For some reason, there's scale shadows help me see things. I need to put something on your side here. Give you a little three dimension. Shaping. Did I turn you on? I did. Just kind of balance the, the texture a little bit. I don't see if we get a shape out of the damn thing. Where I want to do this shaping, so we're going to start here on the anvil. And I just want. bit of a hump there. You define the forehead and the ears a little. And I want a little bit of a shape. Ouch, that's my knuckle. Shape down here. A 
give it some type of, oh yeah, you can see, you know, the hump on the forehead and then a little bit of shape down here. It's just, yeah, it gives it a little bit of a flowing nature. I like that. I'd like to bring some of this back if I could, but I don't know if I can. Maybe you should just leave well enough alone. I think it looks pretty good just like that, as good as it's going to get. I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to read, I'm going to redefine those ears a little bit more. They, they kind of got lost. And then uh, put some texture on where I just hammered, and I think we're going to be ready to call this lion head part done. Put you back in here in a way that I like looking at you. Close enough for me. Close enough for me. Where's my little ear tool? Just to go back and lift those guys out a little more. Not too much more. And then go back. This up. Sometimes you just stop, Jim. Sometimes you just stop. Texture on all the edges. That'll be enough to be perfect. Pretty cool, huh? All right, a little cooler off. I mean, the problem that I'm really scared about is that this head and this handle do not line up well at all. And I'm actually thinking of perhaps flattening that handle out and putting scales on it. Maybe that'll give me a little more steel for the knife because we lost we lost a little bit of steel there, but it just doesn't line up perfectly. Let me, let me wire brush it just to give you an idea. Because if that looks good, I think once she's cleaned up, she's going to look really good. Thank you, guys. Look okay. It's not symmetrical. So like I said, we're going to have a hard time with the handle. But I think we did okay. The mouth, the ears... Bring that whole line and shape in. And then I think we got a good profile. Good enough anyway. For a freaking railroad spike. But this whole getting the getting the angle and everything right. Alright, let me think about what we're gonna do with this blade. Because after all it's supposed to be a knife, you know. You know I do boy, I hope we have enough. What I gotta do is try to get this back down to its normal dimensions because I have set an awful lot in the process of trying to drive that head out and then from there take a look at what I got I'm not I'm not too happy about taking um, and, and putting scales on this just because I think I think doing that takes away from nothing but a spike. You know, nothing added, nothing taken away. So I'm going to try to pull something out of my backside that'll work. A little thick here stuff. Really wish that head was centered more, but it isn't. Tempted to neck that down a little bit. 
just to narrow that spot if I can do it without destroying all my hard work and see if I can persuade it over in that process. Do something. I'll go ahead and try to protect that head if I can. Main. A little bit anyway if I can. We're going to see if we can go ahead and get in here somehow. moving someplace else. I don't know. Suck it. You know, I've been fighting that damn thing since the beginning. It suck if that was the only major flaw in it. Hopefully I'm not freaking that main up too much. No, I didn't do too bad. Let's see, how do I make that look centered? Son of a pup. Sucks, dudes. There's just no way to make that look centered. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this triangle, which, you know, that alignment there isn't bad. I'm going to try to rebuild this square shape um, at that angle, see what happens. Sucks to have to do this extra work, but let's hope we can do something good out of it. So this is my new top. start to show up in a little bit closer orientation visually. Tell you what, I guess we're gonna try putting a scale on this thing. It's already too narrow for a handle anyway. Don't hit anything you don't want to hit, Chip.
it's helping a little and I think I can clean that up with the grinder. We'll go ahead and throw some width in that tang. Son of a I think you might pull it off. Just get some length already, right? Don't hit something you don't want to hit, Jim. Face looks good. Don't mess it up. And we are much better. I think I can fake that. I think we can fake it. One more stretch and then I'll go ahead and see if we can clean that up a little. Just kind of stretch this out. Sad putting a tang on it, but it is what it is. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Go a little wider yet. Well, I can't seem to see very well today. Mama said I go blind, maybe she dragged. Let's try it again, see what we get. We'll be getting about as thin as I want it to be here pretty soon.
little bit thicker in this spot right here. Let's see what we end up with here. See, we'll see. Want any more curve? I almost want the head curve. Let's see if we just get the head curve down a little bit. A little bit on the very end. Uh, if you pull this off, I'll be pretty damn impressed, I'll tell you. Pretty damn impressed indeed. Head's gonna be like that. Put a bit of a twist in his head. Just to get things lined up where we want them to be. I guess you can come there. I already lost most of my heat. So it kind of breaks the head right off, huh? Son of a pup. On there, and now we're not looking too bad now. I'm just gonna go back, let this thing cool down uh, with the angle grinder. Just kind of come in. Oh, that was hot. Come in here and just kind of clean up that transition into the neck. Grinding, we're almost in line now, so that's good. We're, we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. <clears throat> All right, let's turn around and get a blade on this thigh. Forcing around, I just did. I'll tell you that much. Pounder out. We're just gonna flatten this son of a gun. For a minute, and then we'll start. Then we'll start pulling her off a little bit. And this one we're just on, right? We're gonna fall off again. Getting to this point, 25 minutes putting a frill freaking blade on. It's crazy. Sometimes the way it goes. Right, start wiping way back here. We don't need that much. Hang. time widening. I suppose you better thin that out if you get stuck with it somewhere. Alright, let's go for a little more width of the channel. Alrighty, 
ain't gonna get much more than that before we put a taper on. So let's start cleaning her up. Cleaning her up. Cleaning her up. Cleaning her up. Let's start cleaning her up. Just a bit. This jab, shaka, huh? Shaka. Using my railroad spike knives. If I can on this side. Um. I just use my railroad spike tongs, and I make it purposely for that. But somebody decided to put scales on this knife. Dumbass. Put that tip a little bit here. Pull some of that thickness back into the blade. shape of this thing. Alright, let's just go ahead and bring it down where it's supposed to be. Still on here. I don't know whether to use a three pounder for this taper. Ow! Freak for this bevel or just don't know, I'm so confused. I think the three pounder because we haven't got a whole lot of meat there. I guess you're already on, so no sense of turning on. Which I didn't do good. Alright, I'm just gonna put a full bevel.
close, getting close to that part. We still got <laughs> break trash trail though. Smooth move, Chandler Brown. Let's see how thick we're getting here. We probably aren't. Eh, we got a little room. Alright, let's go. Time through, start on the opposite side. I think we will be ready to rock and rumble. Ready to rumble and crumble. Rumble and crumble. We hadn't messed up that silly alignment. Okay, if we didn't mess up that silly alignment. Funny son of a gun today. You guys had to sit down. Listen to all that. That's horrible. All right, we wanted to start on this side. About as thin of a blade as you want a forge, I'll tell you. How we look as far as the knife goes. What do you think? You get like a bit of a curve right back in here. So let's keep that section. See if we can put a little curvature in there. I don't want the blade curved, but I'd like it to tip down a little bit from that uh, handle. Like this, I'd rather come down. A little bit more. I don't want to mess with that. I ain't got much meat there anyway. Make sure we got things straight and happy. Ooh, Just to make sure we're straight and happy. Nobody likes a wonk a wonk. Nobody wants a wonk a wonk. Makes a wonk a wonk. Oh, gee, Louise. Can't seem to unwonk that one. Do that a lot. Something I should study, I guess. Where, right here, it just gets tailed off on me. I don't understand it. One more time. We got it. We're normalizing it anyway a little bit. I like to flip her around and make sure that the uh, keep the flip around. Make sure that the tang and everything is straight. Not too bad. We're a little thick here, but ain't too bad. Kind of a little wobble out there. Says the blind man. A little wobble, wobble, wobble out there. All right, took care of that problem. All right, took care of that problem. I wouldn't say that's too bad. All right, let me normalize. There she is. Lion head. Railroad spike knife that's gonna end up with scales. That'll boost the price up. Maybe it'll maybe it'll bring the price down. I don't know. But the challenge was lion head on the end. Can you do it without messing it up like I did? I think so. 
You just can't let it start walking on you. That's all. All right, I'm gonna normalize. Let it cool, and we'll get into the grinding phase. A rough grind down there. This braid was forged pretty thin to begin with. Um, typical Chandler hammer, hammer marks. We were beating the crap out of this one today. So I'm, I'm not actually hating that. I don't mind them up here. I kind of liked up there on the top. Um, when they're down here, then you got a big problem. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and harden this up. This is a railroad spike knife, so we, we, we will harden it in uh, water, which hopefully the sucker won't warp. It's got a decent spine on it. Uh, so it's a pretty nut. The handle's on a big side, but, um, and, you know, it's definitely freaking tail heavy with all this mass out here. But let's get it hardened. Tell me to get the holes drilled for the handle before you harden it, huh? Huh? Almost forgot. Let's get the thing hardened. Crazy, you guys are gonna let me do that. Crazy. Maybe we're just about where we want to be, and in we go. Make sure we're not warped. We're not. Looks good, looks good. And we're done with the forge. Let that burn out. And now I'll clean this up and we'll temper it. Spring, I'll do what I always do. I get the uh, knife clamped in to the vise with a couple of heat sink pieces of angle iron. And I'll just do a variable temper right down the spine. Just like I typically do, glue down the spine, let it soak in, leave the tip a little bit harder. Again, this is a railroad spike, so yeah, it's the best steel in the world anyway. So, uh, but it will take, a, it, you know, it, it will become brittle. So you got, you definitely have to do something with it. You got to give it some time to uh, to, to uh, temper. That's for sure. All right, let's do a final grind on this thing. I put uh, what I'm calling the final grind on. I'm leaving her kind of ugly. I don't mind. Plus, I got enough time into this piece. I, I mean, you got to think about what is the value when it gets done. You know what I mean? So I don't mind that. It's just it's kind of a, a pretty look to it. Um, and I think I like it. I think I leave it just like that. Uh, I'm going to go find some scales and we'll put those on. I won't take you with me because you can watch a million other of my videos where I put scales on. And that's going to take a long freaking time. So um, it wasn't my original plan. It was just going to be a lion's head um, railroad spike knife. But I'll be back in about a freaking hour or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, got the um, handle epoxy. Or, yeah, it's epoxied on. I'm with the Cody. Uh, I kind of like that. It's, a, it's an easy wood to work with, too. It's relatively soft. Um, makes a good handle and so we got I don't know it's kind of cold in the shop so we got however long it takes this epoxy to set up then I'll do the final grind on the handle and final sharpening uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way it's looking I'll be back if you got her all cleaned up uh, I would say an average grind I mean I, again I, I like especially when they're up here towards the spine I like those marks I don't like them down here so much but with this one I, I, I left them in. I didn't have a lot of grind, and that's kind of a Chandler trademark. He's got a hammer, heavy hammer, and heavy, heavy, whatever. Uh, Bacotti handle on it, all right. And it's you know I put some ergonomic uh, shapes in there. I typically do just especially this handle. It's relatively small, uh, and uh, it, you know it, it can easily turn out to be a round handle. So it does help with a little bit with well definitely with indexing because you can feel those grooves in there. So. I do that typically, uh, but the whole point was this, all right? Can you put a lion's head on the end of a railroad spike? And the answer, I think, I'm not, I'm not overly excited with it, but I think it's pretty damn cool, all right? I think that's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, got her sharp as I normally do, all right? Sharp enough to cause you grief, that's for sure. <clears throat> for a railroad spike anyway, huh? So there you have it. Take up the glasses for the money shot. Uh, one lion's head railroad spike knife. Very, very cool. Lion's head. Been waiting to do this one for a couple of years now, so that was a challenge. 
It was, I think it would have taken three hours less time had I went upsetting the, uh, or yeah, trying to drag this nose out of the end, um, had I not missed the line that had. It was just horrible. And then I wouldn't have had to put the handle on it. It would have been just a typical railroad spike. Now it's a railroad spike that's jazzed up. So some people might say it's a worthless piece of junk. There it is. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did because I didn't know if I could do it. And I think we pulled it off. I really do. Let me put my glasses on so you can see that. <laughs> it looks like a freaking lion to me. Sure it does. It should be for sale. Ciao. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.